Remember the time when your math teacher asked you to prove why triangle is a triangle and thought, why waste my life proving this shitty stupid question, while there are a thousand important issue I can solve, and meanwhile, every other online guru is yelling at you to skip the stupid math books and buy their $997 course to be next Elon Musk. A global survey once showed that more than 60% of students describe math as the most stressful subject in their entire education. For many, it's not just numbers, it's a nightmare. But why most of us human feared math so much while the God can't stop loving it, math isn't just some dusty textbook torture. It's been called the language of God, and when you start looking closely, it's hard to deny. Take the universe. There are two trillion galaxies out there, each containing billions of suns and planets, and every single one of them dances to the same mathematical rules. They obey what scientists call universal constants. Now here's the scary part. If even a single digit in one of those constants was slightly different, our entire universe would collapse. No stars. No planets. No us. Look at a sunflower. Its seeds spiral in a perfect Fibonacci sequence. Look at galaxies. Same spiral. Same ratio. Look at your own face. People find symmetry and the golden ratio more attractive, because our brains are wired to see math as beauty. Physics bows to math without question. Newton's laws, Einstein's relativity, quantum mechanics, they're all mathematical prophecies that reality obeys. Even black holes, those mysterious cosmic monsters we've never directly seen, were predicted through math equations long before we had telescopes powerful enough to prove they exist. God didn't just create the universe. He coded it. And the programming language? Mathematics. Yes, it's true you will not use derivative or integration while ordering a pizza, but learning them makes you more logical, sharper, a better problem solver. So don't just hate math. Embrace it. Because who knows? Maybe one day, you'll stumble upon one of God's hidden equations, the ones nobody's found yet. And trust me, that's a lot cooler than just proving why a triangle is a triangle.